Hi everyone, Vega here. In today's video we're going to be looking at Titania, the beauty of the Uranian system. So let's get to it. In William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream it was said, Come my lord, and in our flight, tell me how it came this night. That was Titania, the queen of the fairies. So, where might we find this moon? Well, obviously it's in the Uranian system, and Titania is the furthest out other than Oberon in the system. At magnitude 13.9, it's impossible to see with a naked eye, but with a substantial telescope it may be possible. Here we can see in, inside Titania's largest crater, Gertrude, at 326 kilometers, one of the largest in the solar system. The sun twinkling in the sky at magnitude minus 20, which is somewhat lighter than the full moon, a lot lighter in fact, 16 to 20 times lighter than the full moon in our own skies, but much dimmer as you may deduce than the sun in our own skies. Titania in fact formed with the planet Uranus, like most of all its other moons it is believed. Now here we can see the first inkling of the Titanian atmosphere, an atmosphere interestingly and perhaps surprisingly that is 2000 times thicker than those on Ganymede or Callisto and is a seasonal atmosphere that contains 10,000 to 20,000 pico bars of pressure orbiting at 436,000 kilometers out. Titania is slightly further from Uranus than our own moon. Imagine seeing the blue-green planet of Uranus much larger than Earth in the skies. What a wonder that must be. Indeed, the extreme seasons on Titania, of which comprise 42 years of daylight and then 42 years of night, see carbon dioxide sublimating on the surface to create the Titanian atmosphere. Titania, you may wonder how can it manage such a thick, well, a relatively thick atmosphere. Well, it is the eighth most massive moon in the solar system. Through Ganymede, Titan, Callisto, Io, the moon, Europa and Triton, after that, Titania is the most massive and indeed has a higher density than most of the Saturnian satellites. Titania is most definitely an underrated moon. Now, let's imagine the future for Titania. Titania is likely the first destination in the Uranian system, perhaps as a base for missions, maybe to Neptune and Pluto, if, or even the Kuiper Belt, if, if the planets were lined up in the right places, or perhaps transit between Saturn and uh, perhaps a, a more colonized planet such as Titan by then may allow us to, to access Titania much closer at a much closer distance than from Earth and from Titania of course onto the other Uranian moons of Oberon, Miranda and perhaps Umbriel. Imagine lying back on the surface of Titania seeing Uranus in the skies its swirling clouds of methane her rings shimmering in the dark sun. What a wonder it must be. Uranus and its system are most definitely underrated and undervalued and so far in our research. Back to the queen of course, Titania here in, in all her beauty. Imagine lying on the surface of Titania. What angel wakes me? from my flowery bed, once she said in a midsummer night's dream. Now, finally, unfortunately, as you may know, many missions that were planned to a Uranus have so far been aborted. It does take around 10 years in a flyby mission to reach Uranus, or in as much as 15 to 16 years to get a Uranus orbital insertion, as we can see here. Often um, many flybys needed of both Venus and the Earth before it even leaves the inner solar system. And this is a potential mission um, that's probably going to be aborted now, isn't it? 
Um, but you know, this one has a Saturn flyby, some may may be able to use Jupiter. Um, but it's it's not an easy place to get to. Um, indeed, the Cassini mission did have an option to to carry on to, to the Uranian system, but as always, the Uranian system undervalued, underrated, was ignored. Although we must admit the Cassini mission was pretty successful. Um, there is a planned mission, the, the Muse mission, the mission to Uranus for science and exploration still is planned for 20, a 2026 launch with the Ariane space rocket. Let's keep our fingers crossed. The beauty of moons like Titania, the Uranian system, mustn't be ignored any further. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Coming up soon, we've got a, a new video on the Canopus in our Brightest Star series. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to add a like if you've enjoyed the video.